Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Ready now, Brandon Nimmo. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for the man, right fielder, Brandon Nimmo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner stranded. Settling in now, Wilmer Flores. First pitch coming, here it is. This one's down to third. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting third, the left fielder number 30, Michael. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. This offense has been warned if they didn't know already, now they do know. He's got his A game fastball with him today. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's 2 and 1 now. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question, letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Well, I'll even a two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. Around first, digging for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. A pitch away from posting a zero in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Standing in now, Jose Bautista. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. These are the moments you can't relax. You never know when you're going to be able to score a few runs off a great pitcher. Here's the spot right here early. Have to find a way. You're happy with one, but if someone can catch a gap, this game could get out of hand pretty quick. The 0 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. And 
And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strikeout there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Danger averted following the two out double. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Steven Matz gets the starting nod for the Mets. What's your take on him Dan. Hey, Steven Matz is what they look like. Big, strong guy, 6'4", about 220 pounds, throws from the left side, smooth gas, 93 to 95, terrific overhand curveball, and his changeup is getting better all the time. Steven Matz is quality. Stepping into the box, Corey Dickerson. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Dickerson. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Looks at a two seamer right down the middle. Here comes the 0 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Softly hit out to short. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, definitely watch out for Corey Dickerson. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Here's Starling Marte. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's 0 for 5. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoke toward the hole. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Here's Gregory Polanco. As he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. Man at first for him following the one-out single. One oh home a pitch out the throw got short hop but they got him great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal well so much for that first hit of the game tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal but it didn't work out. Two balls and a strike now. Pulled toward right center field. Dendecker giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Bucks go down quietly, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. And here's the catcher Kevin Ploiecki as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A high fastball is in there. And that one just missed outside. A 
one one. It's taken for strike two. One ball, two strikes, Cam. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten a timing down on that second one. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Two and two to the Mets catcher. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Take a look at the Pittsburgh Pirates defensive lineup, and let's take a look at Starling Marte, another one of those super athletic outfielders of the new regime. Ability to cover ground, can play multiple positions in the outfield, and hit in the middle of the order. Next up from New York, Ahmed Rosario, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. No score here as we play inning number two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. going to be troubled. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. The speed they always talk about with this guy was on full display there. Yeah, when you've got elite speed like this guy does, man, you don't need any help from the fielders to give you more time. He's thinking extra bases as soon as the ball gets to the outfield. And that time, he wanted three. Into the box, Matt Dendecker. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready with the 0-1. And there's ball one. Runner on third, sack fly situation, right? Two pitchers down. Really good job of patience trying to get a pitch that he can lift into the air to drive that runner home. Now the one and one pitch. A little bouncer. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Stepping into the box, Jose Reyes, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. 1 0 count. Here it is. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. 
Elias Diaz the next to hit. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Elias Diaz. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Here's the defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitans. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them. In this one. Up next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Set a curveball over the inside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Giving chase is Nimmo. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. Coming to the plate now, Josh Bell, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here comes the first pitch. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Yeah. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Moran, the runner at second with one away. Hit down the third baseline. And no shot there for Bautista. It's a fair ball. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Well, that's a crazy one for a pitcher right there. You're feeling pretty good about yourself, D. Where you pump two of them in there, you're heading to count 0 and 2, and you're thinking, hey, this is pretty easy at bat. Yeah, you step out of the batter's box 0 2, adjust your batting gloves, and hang on for dear life. But he was able to mix in a knock. Into the box now, Sean Rodriguez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The 1 0. Down the first baseline. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. The 1 1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Max Moroff standing in as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. One oh home skied into straightaway right waiting on it is Nimmo no 
trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Pirates strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. So here's the Mets pitcher, Stephen Matz, 9 1 and 2 due up. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Seared down the first baseline. But well, that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. And a fastball just a bit up. Here's a high pop up. Moran moving to his left. One away. The right fielder, number nine. And here's the former first Brandon round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Third inning, no score to this point. Called strike 0 and 2. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Nope. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. A swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left. And the Mets are on the board first. One to nothing. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. The left fielder number is standing in now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0 and 1. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Oh one, here's the pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's 1-0 Mets. And 
now it's the Pirates pitcher number 49. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number 49. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. A bouncer to the left side. Rosario's got it. And there's one down now. Up next for Pittsburgh, left fielder, Corey. Riding in once again, Corey Dickerson. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. A 1-1 one, nope. one count to the Pirates leadoff hitter. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Digging in to try it again, Starling Marte. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. And Reyes can't flag it down, it's in the center of base hit. So the two out success means Gregory Polanco bats this inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box, Gregory Polanco. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Hope for one here in the early going. Pitch out, ball, nothing doing. Marte, the runner at first with two gone. Marte off for second. Strike called, now the throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Time for a quick break, then back to PNC Park after this. Next for the Mets, Jose Bautista. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Jose Bautista. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Morov is underneath this one. One down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1-0. Misses, ball two. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. 
one run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Here's a strike. Ball three. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a 3 1 count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Soft liner to the left side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's the name of the game right there, boys. Get on base any way possible. They're not all going to be beauties, but that one falls in front of the left fielder for a base hit. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Rosario has what you'd call elite speed. His legs are a big part of his game on both sides of the scorecard. This is one tool, Matty, I know nothing about. I used to get to first base, hand my batting gloves to the first base coach, give daps to the first baseman, and be like, yo, what's up? This guy gets on first base, and he's thinking about second and third. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Matt Dendecker. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Oh, and one count and the pitch to first. Bell brings it in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gregory Polanco set to lead us off in the home right half of the fourth it. inning. Gregory Polanco. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Nope. And a oh. curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Missed with a breaking ball. Hit in the air to right field. And Reyes will take this one for the first down. Now batter, Patrick Elias Diaz. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Diaz, a 27-year-old. He's in his third season as a major league player. The 1-0 home is looked at for the first strike. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the feel back for it. D 
Swung on and missed. One and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Colin Moran waits on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Stepping in now, Colin Moran. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 1-0. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Two out, nobody on. Hey. Nip the corner, two and two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They're down one nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Reyes. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Jose Reyes. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Count even now at one and one. A one one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Mora stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now batter. Catcher. Steven Matz. Ready for another chance. Steven Matz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. And 2-0 and oh as this one's taken low. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. The 2-0 on the way. High and away, not close. 3-0. and oh. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. You've got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in a hurry. Hey. Three and one. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Fell behind early in this one, 3-0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. 
not too often you see in a bat go from 3-0 to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And, Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. And this oh, is taken out. outside for ball one. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball on the first pitch there. The guy is probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. And that misses, two and one. Nemo with an even count of two and two now. Here now the 2-2. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Mets go down 1-2-3. They lead it 1-0. Josh Bell the next to hit. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Rosario brings it in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The batter, number three, second baseman, Sean Rodriguez. Stepping in, Sean Rodriguez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now it's 2-0. and oh. This at-bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate, 2-1. and one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center and the Bucks have drawn even now at one apiece. Well, you really can't blame the man on the mound. He single-handedly kept them in this thing. But with one swing of the bat, we're all knotted up. Things are officially interesting, and we're in for a good finish in this one. Here's Max Moroff standing in. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one.
One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike now. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Uh, the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. <laughs> Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but it sure looked tempting. And at least he held up. He must have been guessing. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Now batting, number 49. Now to the plate, the pitcher, number 49, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Looped out toward third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Pirates are able to draw level on this solo home run. Through five innings, all tied at one and one. Ready once again, Wilmer Flores. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So, with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Into the box, Michael Conforto. One for two with a double on his line thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a ball shot foul down the left side. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. And Porto behind the ball in two strikes. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A-B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Hits are even right now at five aside. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Dickerson. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. 
digging in once again. Jose Bautista, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Into center field, line drive base hit. And that'll bring home the runner from third to make this a two to one ball game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Into the box now, Kevin Ploiecki. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. for the punch out and the offering and this one's in the dirt good job there as the count goes to one and two the one two in the dirt here set to deal on two and two 2-2 pitch just missed. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Runners on first with one down. Popped him up. Bell is there. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, number one. Ready for another shot now, Ahmed Rosario. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. That's a tough pitch to throw right there, that front door curveball. Just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away, and unfortunately, that one stayed inside. Bautista leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Polanco. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets play to run on a couple of hits. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets two and the Pirates one. Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Corey Dickerson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's Starling Marte. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far.
Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Grounded up the first baseline. Wow, that grounder got him. No chance to recover, and let's hope he's okay out there. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch, and you get these guys that can run around, and they're fast. You think you have an out, and all of a sudden, it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. First offering on its way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. The 1-0 home. That's a strike to throw down. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face he's obviously frustrated right now but it's a long season you're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense does he take a step back and relax a little bit or does he call a team meeting right after this one a change up over the inside corner both teams with six hits so far change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball Elias Diaz would be next another full count pitch on its way still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going locked in a good battle here comes another one and a sinker too far in here. He lost him on ball four. Yeah, and if you can make it all the way to the sixth inning before you give up a walk, you're doing something right. He's been very efficient so far, so we'll see if he can get back on track here. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Elias Diaz. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And the runner back safely. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one just missed outside. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. A ball and a strike. Two balls and two strikes to count to the Pirates catcher. 
And he'll snap one over to first, just keeping him close. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Dendecker on the move. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Pirates leave one. They're down 2-1. Back here in Pittsburgh, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Michael Feliz is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45, Michael Feliz. Digging in once again, Matt Dendecker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And he watches one miss outside. 2 0 now. Swing here on the fastball as this is squirted up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. No batter, number seven. Second baseman, Jose Reyes. Riding in once again, Jose Reyes. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One and no pitch on the way. This is pulled into right. Polanco is right there as he takes it for the second out. Now batting. Pitcher. As Dribble Cabrera will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 13. And Dribble Cabrera. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And he misses again, 2 0. Now the 2-0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. As Dribble Cabrera ahead in a three and one count now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking guys so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up too late, and it's full now at three and two. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Up next for the men, right fielder, Brandon. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Nimmo, three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. 
A one pitch on its way. Missed with a slider. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Line drive to left. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mets strand one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Jerry Blevins gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Jerry Blevins. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Colin Moran will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Owen won the count. Come set with the Owen one. And a breaking ball stays outside. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Ready once again, Josh Bell. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a change up over the outside corner. Ready with the 0 2. 0 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command 1 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. That one is out of here. This game is. home run here off the bat of Josh Bell and the Pirates have come back to tie things at two. Hey that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher you just have to regroup and get back on that horse. Standing in now, Sean Rodriguez. As he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. The head to head numbers against Jerry Blevins, he's 0 for 4. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Grounder down the line at third. There to get it is Batista. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, but Georgetown. Ah. Here's Max oh. Moroff standing in.
first offering on its way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Down low. Two balls and a strike. He's set. And the 2-1 pitch. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. This is on the ground over to first. Taken in by Flores. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Ready for another chance. Wilmer Flores. And this time ball game is a battle of the bullpens now. And I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. The bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. From the stretch, there's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Fastball that time. Zero. And a ball diving into the dirt, a swing and a miss. Really deceptive change up there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Now here's the pitch. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Object for the left. Left fielder. Michael Ready for another Conforto. shot now. Michael Conforto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. That was a non competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2 0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down in the zone, get himself back in this count. Now the 2 0 home. Taken, strike one outside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and one to the Mets left fielder. On deck is Jose Batista. Lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now batting third baseman. So a runner at first now with one away. And striding in is the third baseman, Jose Batista. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Well, count now 1 and 0 with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher, you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. The 1 0 home is a fastball that misses.
Now the 2-0. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? Rodriguez for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Your attention, please. Now pitching for New York, number 63. Josh Harrison is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Oh, and one here it comes. And he just misses with a curveball. Bounce to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now back. Left fielder. Corey. Dickerson. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Corey Dickerson. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Reyes waits on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Here's Starling Marte trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Bautista is up with it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Score remains two to two. A beautiful nighttime shot there of downtown Pittsburgh as we're ready for what remains of this one from PNC Park. Edgar Santana will be on the mound to start the ninth inning and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. And here's the catcher Kevin Ploiecki. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. It is a slider that backs up for a ball. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. A swing and a ground ball to third. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Well, the pitcher's got to respect that. Third baseman getting dirty right there, trying to save him some extra bases. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. And a good decision there to sweep this away in foul territory and make him try it again. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out.
the 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Into the box, Matt Dendecker. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. Lifted in the air out to center field. Rodriguez ranging into the outfield. Two down. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dickerson will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one, and this game is still tied at two and two. Here's Gregory Polanco. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Right fielder, Gregory Polanco. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The one one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Favorable call in there for a strike. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready with another 2-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Nimmo has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Elias Diaz. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. First pitch of the at-bat. Skied into straightaway right. Reyes is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Colin Moran. Up next Moran. for the Buccos, Colin Moran. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. 
And he looks at one in there, one and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down in order go the Pirates. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Ty Kelly is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frames. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brandon Nimmo struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And a strikeout here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you could have. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 2-2. Anthony Swarzak comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Josh Bell, the next to hit. Head to head against Anthony Swarzak. He's a 333 hitter. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Ball one to start the at bat. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. One and one. Well, based on that swing, I'd say this guy's got his A-game fastball working right now. The only way you're going to get to that pitch is you got to make an adjustment and get that front foot down a little early. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Sean Rodriguez will be next. The three one. Possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Francisco Cervelli come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Francisco Cervelli. Popped him up. Ploiecki has a play. One away. Oh. 
And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Hit down the line at first, but uh, this will get foul for strike two. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Ready with another two strike offering. Missed with a slider. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Head to head against Anthony Swarzak. He's 0 for 4. That's a 1 and 1. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Now the one and two pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. One left for Pittsburgh. Score remains two to two. Francisco Cervelli will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number 29, Francisco David Freeze will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Tyler Glasnow makes the mound to start the 11th inning. Tyler Glasnow. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto. He's working on a one for three thus far. Michael Conforto. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Conforto is retired, and there's one away. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Jose Bautista. He was a double play victim last time around. First offering on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. One out, nobody on. And even one and one count to Bautista.
into the corner and slicing foul. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. The 2-2. Two -two. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Next up for New York, Kevin Ploiecki. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And a neck high fastball that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the 2 1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Trying to strike out the side, here it is. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. One one home hit on the ground out to short freeze is there throw on the second for the force and the side is retired Mets strand one and this game is still tied at two and two so the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go Corey Dickerson Corey He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Dude, Way in front of that fastball. I got a ball, one strike. Line drive to center field. Dendecker has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's Starling Marte. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Gregory Polanco. Settling in now, Gregory Polanco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it. Conforto. And that ends the inning.
One, two, three, go the Pirates. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Digging in to try it again, Matt Dendecker. The match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball of no strikes. The 1 0 home. There's a heater in there for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. And that one misses to Reyes as well, and it's 3 0 now. That one's in there, three and one. The three one is in there for a full count now, three and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now batter. Devin Mesoraco will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. In there, and it's 0 1. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Runner back safely. Runners off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It's high at the bag, and that's not going to be in time, so the go-ahead run moves into scoring position now on the stolen base. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Heading out towards shallow right. Polanco is there. Two gone. And here's the former first round draft choice. Brandon Nimmo. Attempting to as they say get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Here's the first pitch. Curveball that time not even close. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The 
the 1 0. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. And he has just given them the lead late as this is down for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now batting. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. One ball, one and a curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's one and one. One two is a ball high and inside. Here now the two two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Two two one more time doesn't get the zone count full now for the guy in the mound. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this a B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Soft liner to the right side lays out but he can't make the play and it's through into right and he is out at the plate trying to extend the lead to two instead he's cut down and the inning is over so they pick up a run on two hits no errors and a man left and now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops bottom of the 12th inning coming up it's the Mets three and the Pirates two Robert Gesellman enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings Elias Diaz the next to hit he'll lead things off here in this one run contest. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Missed with a breaking ball. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now the 2 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. You got two balls, one strike. Popped up. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Object for the Pirates. Third baseman, Colin Moran. Ready for another shot now. Colin Moran. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch on its way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. And it's 2 and 0 now to Colin Moran. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? 
hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2 and 1 now. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Josh Bell, the next to hit. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line drive to left. Again, a nice clean base hit. It's third of the game. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking right. Into the box, Francisco Cervelli. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. A slider over the outer half for strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets finally put this one to bed in 12 innings as the ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. 3-2 to two the finish in tonight's game. Anthony Swarzak earns the victory on the mound. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.